guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are at the uh, Globe Life Field. Um, we're gonna have, me and my teammate are coming. We're gonna have a tour and we're gonna go play catch there and it's gonna have, it. be a lot of fun. And <laughs> I'll start recording again Watcher. whenever we get inside. One more thing, um, the Globe Life Field is just the new Ranger Stadium. Um, here in Ar Arlington, Texas. Pretty big field though. No, the video. Hey, that's big. Oh, wow, that's cool. Graham, get over here. Adrian Beltrace? Video that. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. This is a, like last level too. Oh wow, those are big. This is nice. There's so, so many golden balls. Yeah. Right? Tigers? Yes, they're golden balls. One of them has one. Nolan Ryan. Right there. It's cool. Alright. So, how many of y'all ever done a score the whole ball? they did not put one in this stadium. So down here in the district, I wouldn't say replaces that, but it's gonna be what's equivalent to that. So down here, you're gonna see, get a lot of your history and a lot of your facts that check this range of And part of that are gonna be these timelines that you're gonna to see. So this is basically all 26 years of Blood Life Park on this one round. Everybody in this room should at least first hand and witness and experience something just from these timelines. When you got based on Ottawa in 2019, Adrian Belcher, 3,000, no more 505 foot home runs. Us clinching the division in 2015, Michael Young's consecutive games with the Rangers, our World Series appearance in 2010, greatest thing ever. I mean, not only did we win our first pennant, we beat the New York Yankees. Not only did we beat the Yankees, we struck out the biggest Ranger hater there was. We struck out Alex Rodriguez. Now, what's even more interesting though, besides all that though, y'all, Y'all believe already both of our World Series appearances have already both been over a decade, wow. 10 years. It does not feel like it's already been 10 years from each of them. I mean, this one actually was 11 years because that was last year, but this year from our second one, it's already 10 years, but still a decade from both of them does not feel wow. like that. Then from Gary Matthews Jr. infamous catches in the field, Rafi Palmero's 500 foot home run, 
Pudge scoring the first ever postseason run in 96. And then the official scorecard of Kenny Rogers' perfect game. So, I'm assuming you boys play baseball, right? Yes, sir. Could you tell me what a perfect game means? Uh, no one gets on base or scores. Exactly. No runs, nobody gets on base, nobody gets walked. Straight perfect. 27 up, 27 down. With the 2019 bench, they took it out of the old park. And where Grayson's dad is sitting is where Adrian Beltre used to always sit. No one else. And they'd already been plunked like five times that series. And so they got to go in before the game. They're like, all right, first person who gets hit, you go. Big um, TVs. Like, you realize halfway there, it's like, I'm charging more than what I expect. I'm just going to go up there and like grab him and like pretend like, because the next thing I know, he sidestepped me and just pounded on my head. <laughs> got my good side. I don't look fat. I'll say cool. <laughs> Listen to Ventura talk about it. It's fantastic. It's I'll see if I can. Wow. This is the best view. Best view of the view. Pizza place or something. Like, do you remember watching Charlie? Do you remember watching Charlie Huff go knuckleballs? I didn't have to. Well, somebody on the baseball side we were discussing the other day. These are all really. It was the opening day start for the first game of Marlins that played. In fact, for all of us that watch, especially with Rangers, you look 65 when you see Rangers. I think you played your 15 more years. This is really cool. You can take care of yourself. Another way to the field. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Sections, elevator, party point. <laughs> oh, wow. Dang. That's a very really good meat. It's cool. His hair is so fluffy. I know, it's just soft. I wish that was what my dad would 
What is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This plastic is here for COVID. So. This is so back in 1958, we became the Washington Senators all the way to 1971. Now, before us, there was another team that was the Washington Senators. Some of y'all know who that was? There was another team that was there before us. Nobody knows why. So the team that was the Washington Senators before us, they we know them today now as the Minnesota Twins. So the Minnesota Twins were there before us, and then that's when we took over. But our mayor at the time, Mr. Tom Vandergrift, he... He was the one, the, the reason why we came to Texas. So back then, the DFW Metroplex actually did not exist, but it was being in the process of being made and it was rapidly expanding and getting populated. So Mr. Vandergrift was like, man, we have a big community that's just overly expanding, but we have no entertainment here. What do we do, what do we do? And so what he did was he pitched the idea, let's bring sports. And so the first thing he did is he went for the kill and he brought the Washington Senators here and then we became the Texas Rangers. So over those course of the years from 1965 to all the way to 1972, when we moved to Texas, a bunch of different teams moved, including us, and then so Seattle, or not Seattle, St. Louis, the Cardinals, they moved there, the White Sox, they moved to Chicago, and the Dodgers, they went from Brooklyn to LA. And then of course the team that you know now, the Washington Nationals, their logo, but it was also our logo. And then we have all gotten a program, right? This is Washington Center's program, our first program in 1972 when we moved to Texas. Just the only difference is, as you can tell, 50 cents. We paid 30 bucks for them now. Uh, we've never paid these prices for them, but it was a lot different. All right, let's get to the field. Yeah. Oh, I'm really ready. Yeah, we just got done with the tour, and we're at a restaurant to eat. We did go to the uh, little shop things, and we got like, me and my brother got a bat, and I got a hat, and I'll probably start filming again when we're done.